and good morning everyone so today's video is different it's starting already pretty differently um, as you can tell we're in my kitchen um, hi welcome and today actually is a vlog and like come thrift with me type of video i've never really done one of these before but i personally love to watch them so i decided i'll just try it um yeah the thrift stores here have been closed for four or five months now the last time that i went thrifting was in november late no, no nah, late late october early november something like that and since then we've just been in a complete lockdown so everything was closed but now all the stores are reopening again it's it's very limited how many people can go in and also you obviously have to wear a mask and I am trying my best to stay very safe with this. I'm gonna put on a mask and take hand sanitizer with me and I'm just gonna make sure that I will stay safe. But I am so, so excited to go thrifting again and um, yeah, I'm gonna take you along. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. So I figured before I leave, I'll just quickly show you what I'm wearing. Also, please don't mind my hair. I have a hair appointment next week. So excited. I. I'm not happy with all of what's going on here, but let's just not talk about it. Here's the outfit. I am wearing this shirt that I actually got at a thrift store. I um, love it. It's just velvet and then it has these beautiful little like flowery details. Um, I'm wearing some leather shorts, this belt, and also this thing, which I believe is actually a necklace, but whatever. And then I'm just wearing some tights and boots with it. I really really like how they look so it's kind of chilly out today i'm just wearing this afghan coat penny lane coat jacket which is super super nice i love it and now i'm gonna go head out to the thrift stores so we're in the car i actually have to wear glasses to drive a car and to do a lot of other things but mainly to drive a car and um yeah it's like half an hour of a drive it's kind of a bit more outside of the city but it is as i said one of my favorite thrift stores i moved back to the city where i grew up in so this is like the thrift store that really started my whole love for thrifting like when i was like 14 or 13 maybe even we would go there we would take the train and it would take such a long time but now that i'm 22 and i have a driver's license this is just way easier yeah i'm gonna put on some good music and drive there and i will see you as soon as i get there so i made it i just arrived i hope you can kind of hear me the weather is wild today it's not that cold actually but it's kind of windy and it's chilly but not really cold but whatever we made it i have my mask and i'm gonna go in now so we got a few things so far not really sure gotta try something on also gotta try some of these things on as well but let's look at the music shall we a lot of vinyls here and um yeah let's have a look so this is their record section they kind of have it like you know kind of put into categories but it's still very very wild um but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take a look through it the last time i was here i actually found a neil diamond lp so that was cool but um let's have a look what we're gonna find today so this is rock and roll and country. Let's give it a try. So we didn't go lucky with the vinyls, but I need to show you something. Look at this. Isn't this so cool? Wow. If I had a bigger apartment, I would totally get that. That's such a cool piece. It is beautiful. I hope we'll find a nice home and someone who will treat it kind because this is a gorgeous piece. So some of the things actually have these like little tags where they say, like this says CDs for example. This is a gorgeous bag. It is 15 bucks and that is kind of a lot for me. So I usually don't spend a lot of money on clothes, but also it, it is very beautiful. So on the other side of the wall of the bags, they actually have shoes. So let's have a look. So the shoe section wasn't that successful, but don't worry, there's like a lot of more to come. So let's head to the clothes. I'm so excited. So this is what we came for. Did you see this? 50s, 60s, 70s. So many beautiful prints. I can't wait to get through all of these. Let's have a look.
Look at that beautiful tag. Wow, it's gorgeous. This is not my size, however, but this is a gorgeous tag. I'm so sad. This would be so beautiful, but it is way too big. Like, this will not fit me. I hope someone will come. Someone who has the body to fill this out will come and, like, love it because this is a beautiful dress. I am lost for words. This is so beautiful. I need to try this on. Wow, this has to come with me. I hope this fits. It kind of looks small, but this would be so beautiful. These pants. These could be cool. I'll try them as well. I can't see anything because these are actuals, someone actual glasses, but I kind of, they look ridiculous, comment below they look absolutely ridiculous right now, I kind of like them, I mean I won't get them because I would have to like get the glasses redone and that might be a lot of money, um, which I am not willing to spend right now because I have glasses that work perfectly fine, but these are kind of groovy, what do we think about these ones? <laughs> Oh no, I think there's nothing worse right now. Like trying on glasses with a mask. Oh, okay, I can't see anything through these. Wow, these are strong. These. Ooh. Wow, I cannot really see through any of these. But these are kind of better than I see without glasses. I'm still waiting for that day where I will walk into a thrift store, pick up a pair of glasses, and they will be my prescriptions like just imagine that happening how rad would that be i'm not gonna lie i feel a bit sick from looking through all of these glasses that were not my prescription but um yeah i'm just gonna have another look around and then yeah let's see what else we can find i talked about this in a styling video and basically this is where i get all of my types and you can see they're 50 cents so that's not a lot just kind of look look at these these are definitely vintage. Yeah, so let's have a look. Look at these packages. Wow. Also, we love to have these shoes. But, um, yeah, and also this one. I love this. This is such a cute packaging. Just found this. This is so old. This is true vintage. Isn't this so beautiful? This is the kid size, obviously. It's the kid section. But it's so, so beautiful. So I made it to the dressing room. Let's have a look. So these jeans don't fit, which doesn't really matter because I already have quite a few pairs of flares. But I put on this, which I think is probably like a one piece, but I would like to wear it as a bathing suit. It just, it's way too big on me. Oh, I'm so sad. This would have been so cute. Like the color, the way that this is like the, the fabric. So beautiful, but um, yeah a pass for me i have this dress and it just yeah that won't work but this is so beautiful <sighs> damn everything is too big or too small today but we'll, we'll find something i'm just very sad because this <sighs> this is so beautiful i just don't have any luck with the sizing today like i am so weird in this so this dress fits me it is cute i really love the sleeves like the way the arm kind of comes out it's so beautiful i also don't like how it fits here it's kind of big 
if you can see but um yeah it's a beautiful dress i'm not gonna get it but it's cute <laughs> So I just finished trying on all of these things and I actually found some pretty amazing pieces and I think I'm gonna do a try on thrift haul as the next video coming up after this one. So this will be up on Friday I believe so on Sunday that video will be up. Hit the subscribe button down below and you won't miss it because I think you're interested in seeing what I found because these are some pretty pretty good pieces. <laughs> I'm back in the car. Um, it is raining outside, but the lady who was working in that store told me that there's another store not too far from here and they are also open again. So we are gonna go there and check that out. I think I've been there before, but I'm not 100% sure. Because back when I was a teenager and I used to come here, they were in a different location. They were in this old building. It was always freezing in there. They would give you coffee for free because it was so, so cold in there. Um, but yeah, they moved. It's kind of nicer now. So let's check out that other store and see what else we can find. But I am pretty happy so far. Like I found some decent things. So I made it to the clothes and the lady actually said that they're having 50% off all clothing today so I have to have a look and there are a lot of great things like this is not a vintage store this is like a regular thrift store so I have to do a lot of digging and searching but I'm pretty positive I found these shoes pretty sure they're dancing shoes I used to dance and um, yeah I, I love them they're beautiful I have to try them on if they're my size I'm gonna get them and just wear them to the street like I don't even care I just found them in the sleepwear section it's big but this is so beautiful like look at the detail this is so beautiful this set however it's like a size extra large so this will not fit me this is way too big but it's so beautiful look at the details wow okay but this one I need to try this. This is so beautiful. It's kind of like a bit beaten up already, but this is so beautiful. I think I can fix it. Look what I just found. I found these. These are lace-up suede leather shorts, and I think they might be my size. Wow. I love leather shorts. I am actually wearing leather shorts today. These are so beautiful. I want them to fit so bad. I just found this. Isn't this the most beautiful shelf ever? It is 15 euros. However, I don't have any room for this in my apartment. These are the moments where I wish I just had a space somewhere where I could pick these things up, get them and then resell them to someone. Like not even to make profit, but just to make someone happy with such a gorgeous piece. So I really hope someone will come in here and pick it up and really honor it because this is a beautiful vintage piece. Speaking of homeware and decor, I am still working on my apartment. I moved like in, in early February basically. I'm still working on getting my room and like my whole apartment done. And as soon as I am done with that, I'm gonna do an apartment tour. So stay tuned, it's gonna be amazing. Like I am working so hard on this apartment to be perfect because I just really want it to be a safe space for me. And um, yeah, I think you'll like it. So I am back in the car now. Do you see my hair? The wind outside is crazy. Um, basically, I found so many amazing things. Um, these shoes fit like a dream. I got them. They were two euros. Can you believe that? I had a great time. I got a lot of amazing things. And if you're interested in seeing everything that I got, hit the subscribe button because the next video coming up is gonna be a haul. And it will be interesting for you because not all of the things that I got are from the 60s and 70s, but most of them are kind of like inspired. And I'm gonna show you how I style those things to look as if they were from the 60s and 70s originally because not everything that I got is from that time not everything that I own is from that time and that is fine but I'm just going to show you how I style them so if you want to see that video make sure to tune in on Sunday and also make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it I hope you enjoyed today's video I'm just gonna end it in the car this is so weird but um yeah let me know if you like those videos do you like videos where i just take you along maybe like vlog kind of videos because this is very unusual for me but i just figured i would try it because people really seem to like me taking them with me through my day in my instagram stories 
so I figured that this might be fun for you and for me. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and please comment below which item that you saw was your favorite. I would love to know that. Also, share this video with a friend if you missed thrifting as much as I missed it. I'm just so happy that we can all go thrifting safely again. So I hope you're having an amazing day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.